So a lot of people think that there is no evidence for Jesus Christ, that probably he didn't even exist. But actually, uh, the opposite is the case. What we find today is that across the board, historians, whether Christian, atheist, agnostic, or, or whatever, all acknowledge three facts about Jesus Christ. Firstly, that Jesus Christ lived and was executed on a Roman cross. Secondly, his disciples, of which there were hundreds, genuinely believed that they met a risen Jesus Christ and spoke with him and interacted with him. And thirdly, historians believe that the early church just exploded in numbers soon after Jesus' death. Those three facts are actually extraordinary and require explanation. Because if you think about it, the end of Jesus' life, his execution on the cross, should have been the end of any movement that he was trying to bring about. But actually, we find that all these people believe that he rose from the dead and they were willing to go to their deaths on behalf of that belief. When you look at all the possible explanations for these three facts of history, which all historians agree on, the only explanation that makes rational sense is that Jesus Christ really did rise from the dead, as he said he would. Scholars try to look at different naturalistic alternatives for the three minimal facts of history, but discover that none of them make sense of those three minimal facts. In fact, in 2,000 years of scholarly investigation, there are no plausible naturalistic alternatives that make sense of those three minimal facts of history that all scholars agree on. In other words, pointing to the fact that it is highly, highly probable, based on the evidence, that Jesus Christ really did rise from the dead in human history.